Did you get that on slow mo? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Camden. Hello, and sorry for my nasally voice. It's the fall allergies in Georgia. But the topic for this week is middle school life hacks. So I know a lot of my subscribers have just started middle school or are going into their last year or second year of middle school but anyways if you are i got some middle school life hacks for you and this middle school life hacks is mostly just on self-confidence so what i want to talk to you about is the five best ways of how to build your self-confidence so the first way to build your self-confidence is body language 90% of human communication is nonverbal. Just keep your head high and make a big smile and they're making eye contact with me. And they're like, like intriguing me in because they look so welcoming and awesome. But don't be like this. And when you're closed off like this or like that and you are shy, it kind of looks like you're hiding something, which makes you look shady, which makes you look shady to other people. And people are like, she looks shady. She looks bad. Oh no, we don't want to. So three ways to improve your body language is to posture up and keep a head high, smile and open up your eyes, make eye contact It just look like you're having the best time in the world even though school is awful you know just kidding we all love school if you're watching this teachers give me an a i said i love school isn't that enough number two take care of yourself like hygiene is important make sure you take care of yourself take a shower every night like and brush brush your teeth brush your teeth can no one want you to have the stinky breath make sure you exercise and also eat nutritiously because that will make you feel good and more people would want to be around you because when you feel good it makes them feel good too just take pride in your appearance say i'm beautiful i'm lovely i am other <gasps> Ooh. so number three stay positive and just stay positive because it will make you feel great and everybody will want to be around a person that feels great because it will make them feel so much better and don't be around all of those negative people because negativity spreads and you don't want that but sometimes i know it's like really hard because they might be in your family or they're in your school and they're like every single one of your classes and they keep on talking to you just try your best to cut it out. Come on, say it with me. Cut it out. Cut it out. Number four, help people in need because don't expect it to be like, oh yeah, I'm helping the elderly or I'm helping the community, I'm picking up trash and I'll get so much back in return. That's not really how it works. It can work that way in the TV shows and movies or in dreams and fantasy land. But it really just like, you don't really get anything back except for like, like pride in yourself and love and joy. And like, you'll be f filled with like so much happiness knowing that you've like helped a bunch of people and you've helped a community that'll make you know that and that'll make you raise your self-confidence from like here to like up up yeah up. so just help people in need whether if you're like five or like 65 just it'll make you feel like the best person you could be and it will just raise your self-confidence to a whole new level and you'll just be so happy and last but certainly not least number five be prepared because when you're in school or your work or your um, activity or your sports 
when you're prepared like during like a test or something or like when the teacher calls on you unexpectedly you like know the answer and then you'll be like surprised and everybody will be like good job Camden that's Oh my gosh, I can't believe you knew that. Nobody else knew that. Oh my gosh, Camden's so smart. Oh my gosh, I know Camden is the best. I'm gonna have to cheat off her because she's so prepared. Do not cheat, guys. That's a one-way ticket to the bottom of the pyramid. Be prepared because you never know like what the teachers will throw at you, whether it's in sports, dance, or it's your boss at your job. I don't have a job right now. I don't got no job, so hey y'all casting agents. You look what I can do. Do you wanna hire this? Thank you guys so much for watching, but just remember to use those five tips to help you build your self-confidence and that'll make you like go like crazily cool in middle school and it will make you feel so good and it just is the recipe for a successful life thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked that video and make sure you like comment down below and subscribe to my channel so thanks so much for watching eat more bacon bye Listen. <laughs>